Right, this is called sheep, a tourist's view. All sheep have a hard time of it. Life is muddling for them. They can't tell each other apart, mainly because singulars and plurals both are sheep, which makes nonsense of any individuation. Hence the sheepish saying, if you've seen one, you've seen them all. In mid Wales, on the steep one and two slopes, are sheep sleeping with head and forefeet, four feet above hind feet, and sheep side of one pair of legs, 18 in flower, and the other pair. Some late born tiny lambs sit wisely in the lean and lee of their vast, tattered, yellowish, woolly mothers. Morally, but on the main mountain road heading back to England, tiny baby first built sheep, or the survivors anyhow, pull at the herbage on the thin grass verge, where the cars dash by, rattle by, hurl by, past the innocent black-nosed lambs ignoring all, nose down on the turf edge, tail stumps wagging. Boulders that move across the vast dipping landscape are sheep. Sheep that stay still may be boulders. Still, I reflect cosily, among all this confusion and anonymity, if the scattered sheep, plural, worry about the identity of the skylined or valid sheep, singular, they know who it is from the bold orange number stamped on the flank. And what's more, the Welsh for sheep, Duffard, has a perfectly good plural, Duffide. So what with the tangerine numbers and the clear plural, a Welsh bleating ewe has no problems, except for her eating angles and her cud-chewing posture with her bowels and seven stomachs halfway down the mountain, and her baby lambs on their first initiation out on the tarmac harshness of the world. It's been improved since you heard it, I think. Oh, my harshness of the world. It hasn't been changed. No, but we, we improved some little bits, James and I. James, James pointed out some questionable bits, quite rightly. I think it's a bit Can you remember what? What? Can you point? I can't, no. I, I mean, I could by looking up my drafts. Yeah. <coughs> um, No, I'm afraid I can't, but it, it has been slightly modified, but not very big changes. He's very good on small bits of textual.